popular piece of indie art on Mass Ave is dark tonight. Anne dancing. You might recognize her by the swaying amber lights there on the corner. It's been shut off. Yeah, she's in need of some major repairs. And tonight, as Wish TV's Jenny Dreisler reports, there's a new push to help Anne get her groove back. From weddings and candid photos with kids to a dance off with 2019 Indy 500 winner Simon Pagano. Anne has seen it all in her 10 years dancing on Mass Ave. And some people had their own theories as to why she's taking a break. What do you think happened to Anne? I honestly think that she got stolen. Probably tore an ACL. I don't know. Maybe she just got tired. Oh, yeah, she's super wasted by now. She needs to go home and sleep it off. But the real reason Anne has stopped dancing is far less entertaining. Karen Haley with the Indianapolis Cultural Trail says dancing 24 hours a day, seven days a week has taken a toll on Indy's favorite piece of public art. Think about your iPhone or your phone. Uh, if you haven't updated that in 10 years, if you haven't gotten a new version, if you haven't updated the software, it's probably not functioning the way that it should, and that's what's happened with Ann, but out in the elements. That's why the Indianapolis Cultural Trail launched a new initiative today to keep Ann dancing. The goal raised $262,800 by June 29th in order to get Ann back on her feet. We're making some updates to her base so that they can fit the new structure. We have to make electrical upgrades to how she's powered, changing out the power supply. So it's a lot more than just changing out four panels. There's a, a whole structure is being replaced. Haley says $150,000 of that money will go to replacing Anne. The rest of the money will go to maintaining her in the future. And while Anne is taking her break, Indy residents hope she doesn't sit out long. It's a bummer. I hope people do come together and um, help keep her going. It draws attention, and I think a city like this, we need that. You know, we're a growing city, and she's part of the city.